you right guys, it's Game Boy Luke here. Welcome back to more Pokemon Vault by All-Star Elimination Lock. In the previous episode, we made it to this relic. Wait, I don't even know what this place is called. I, I played this game and I literally I have no idea where I am. Like Celestial Tower, that, okay, okay. So trying to find the gym leader for this town. Uh, as you can tell, uh, all the, the, the words. Uh, as you may have just seen, you, uh, we, we did just have a grinding montage. Managed to get everyone to level 60. Road to MG is just, just a little bit further ahead than everyone else is because he was putting in nothing but work during that grinding montage. I'm, I'm super proud of him. And I actually found out that in the city that we're in at the moment, there's a place called, uh, in this, sorry, in the in Miss Stralton city, there's a place where we can delete moves and stuff. And I think it's about time that um, we delete the cut HM from Espeon because Espeon actually learned Psychic earlier and I didn't want to get rid of Psybeam because I wanted him to have moves that had a lot of PP and Psychic only has 10 PP. So I thought I'd keep Psychic and Psybeam. Uh, and yeah, I had to get rid of Yawn. I mean, I don't use Yawn that much anyway, but I mean, I can get rid of Cut now and teach it something instead, like Shadow Ball, if we get the chance. And I don't know why my Max Repel thing isn't working. Have we got any other Repels laying around? We do. Let me toss these real quick. It's really bothering me how it's not asking me if I want to use another Repel. Alright. So let's climb to the top of here. I deleted defeat all the trainers just to save us a bit of time. And here she is. It's Skylar. Oh, oh, you came, thank you. I was right, what I saw was a hurt Pokemon. Don't worry though, it's it's fine now. I gave it a Max Revive, then it felt better and flew away. Wow, you can't use a Max Revive for playing a Nuzlocke. <laughs> Don't I have such great eyesight? No matter how far away things are, a pilot's eyes can see them. Oh, that's right, since you've come this far, why don't you ring the bell? Celestial Tower's bell is soothing for the spirits of Pokemon. Also, the character of the person ringing the bell is reflected in its sound. Okay. Okay, I'm ringing that damn bell. Special tab bell, you ring the bell, yes. Damn, that's 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 just creepy. Look at the, you can't even see the, the floor anymore. Look at the clouds. How did you even see up here? The clouds are like so thick and whatever. The sound of bell reverberates through the area. What a pretty sound. I don't know if it's, I don't know if pretty is the right word to describe it with, but Luke, you are you're a kind and strong person. It's that kind of sound. I'd like to- wait, what? I don't know, whatever. I'd like to introduce myself again. I'm Skylar, the leader of the Miss Charlton's Pokemon Gym. I use Flying-type Pokemon. When you're ready, please come to the gym. I'll give you a big welcome. Hey, hey, he's gonna give us a big welcome. And the thing is, with this gym as well, we actually have like three Pokemon we can deal with this. Uh, deal with her with. Uh, except for Scrafty, actually. I'll take that. Scrafty can't really do much. Because if they hit him with the Flying-type move, that's gonna hurt a lot. Uh, each Pokemon, though, has their respective Flying-type Pokemon nerfing. Uh, attacks like Power Gem on Espeon, Ice Punch on Scrafty, Shockwave on your yeah boy uh, Rotom, and then we have both Ice Punch and Ice Shard for with with Delibird. So we could just go in there and Ice Shard everything and see how that worked. But the only problem is the Delibird is not the bulkiest of Pokemon. Let me have a look at his defense and his speed real quick. Just see how fast you are. You have 180 speed, you're actually faster than Espeon right now, which is saying something. The same speed as Rotom. I have three Pokemon with like 180 speed, which is impressive, to say the least. Uh, your defense and special defense is certainly lacking though. In comparison to other Pokemon, your defense and special defense is actually the worst of the team. Uh, throwing you in battle. I mean, actually, I think the safest Pokemon would be, would, would be to use Rotom because he resists flying type moves. So I don't know if I battled any of these trainers actually. I spared a repel actually, so I should be able to just be able to walk past them. What's this? I'm gonna pick up this item. A PP up. Okay, actually that is kind of useful. I'm gonna go ahead and use that on Rotom because I don't know if you saw the grinding montage, but I was constantly running out of ominous wind. So you can have this. Use that PP up. Give us six PP and ominous wind. An extra one will always be useful. Don't find a Pokemon. Of course I'd find a Pokemon when I was. Fuck off. Oh, yeah, I'm about this train. I'm gonna speed this up. I'm gonna speed this up because we are like 15 levels higher than everybody right now. And acrobatics doesn't do double damage because I'm... Well, I left the experience code on. <laughs> Whoopsie! I keep doing that. It's, it's, not, it's, it's not good. You have to do it for free. I apologize. I'm just gonna get so much experience on Rapidash. Let me go to like Espeon and distribute this experience evenly. So I'm about to get like times eight experience and get 19,000 for killing a Rapidash. I'm sorry, that's an extra two levels on those guys. <laughs> All right, let's just dodge these trainers now. Why is it not asking me to spray repels? I literally don't understand the reason why it won't do that. Whatever. Whatever. Whatever, man. 
Trips through this grass, come through, and we are back in Miss Shrelton now. <sighs> Alright, awesome. So, before we go in the gym, I, I picked up Will O Wisp as well, actually, and I'm considering getting rid of Thunder Wave for Will O Wisp because Will O Wisp will be useful against fight, uh, fire type. Um, fire type, yeah. Okay, so great. Use Will O Wisp on a fire type Pokemon. That's a really good idea. Use Will O Wisp on a Pokemon that's a physical attacker because obviously burns, uh, burn reduces your attack stats by two. So basically halves it, I think. So let's, um, before I do anything, actually, should we teach a Will O Wisp? I'm gonna do it now, I think. It could come in so much use later. So we'll look, where is it? Will O Wisp. Will O Wisp only has 75 accuracy, so it's kind of a risky move to use. Thunder Wave's kind of useful, but I feel like Will O Wisp might be better, to be honest. So we're gonna go ahead. I might end up replacing Will O Wisp with Substitute, actually. Because if we have Substitute, we can set up Subcharge Beam, and that is powerful. That is really good. I want a whole free throw with a Rotom Mo form. I had um, substitute and just charge beamed everywhere. It was amazing. All right, so you're the move deleter, aren't you? Yes. Okay, let me just go ahead and delete the move of cut. The move cut from Espeon because we don't need that. We haven't even used. I don't think we've used that in battle once. We used it for that one, one time, and then never touched it again. So, it's whatever. Uh, you're the reminder. Do I have any hard skills? I don't. Okay. I'll remember this place just in case uh, I need to uh, remember moves. I, I maybe a substitute thinking about it actually. So I'll have to come back here with heart scales. I don't know where to get them, but eh. All right, so we're gonna run into this plane apparently and then enter the gym. <coughs> All right, so let's go. What the fudge? What the hell? That thing just. Well, I think you're gonna have to call the health and health and safety advisor because honestly, I don't think this is the safest way to navigate around a gym. Wait, I'm confused. Does this shoot me forward now? Oh god, damn! Okay, so it launched me over here now. And straight over my head, like well, she. <laughs> okay, then gone. Just use the cannons to launch me around the gym and stuff. It's completely safe and humane and. And stuff. Mantine. Oh shit, we led that with Shady. Shady, come back. I don't need you for this battle. Well, actually, I might do. I just need I just need road time to come through and shockwave everything, okay? So it's gonna give a hydro ow, 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 ow. Alright, shockwave, I'm gonna speed this up because all you have to do really is Oh god, haunch crow? Okay, that's something different. Cause if you sucker punch me, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna, I, I, I will actually kill me. But if you have a night slash now, we'll be upset. Oh, a nasty plot? Is Honch Crow a good special type? I mean, it doesn't make a difference. I'm gonna kill it now anyway, cause what I'm gonna do is fake it out. That's gonna probably do like half its health. Almost. And then I'm just gonna be able to go for Ice Shard to finish it off. This combo is just disgusting. Fake out, Ice Shard, bop. There's enough damage to take down Freaking everything, I swear. Alright. So he salutes as he faints. And Charizard. We can go into Mo for that. Because we have Power Gem. And we can just bop the hell out of this thing. I, I haven't read the documentation for this either. So I don't know what to expect from her. I decided you guys would prefer to see my reactions to her Pokemon. And see if I can get through this blindfolded. So... Wait, I did look at the documentation in the slightest. I'm just gonna, just gonna wing it. Get it in a flying type gym, and we're gonna wing it. Ah, ah, he's so funny. I stop. I'm sorry. That was unnecessary. I was on cool four, and that's not what you want to hear. Oh god, nasty plot. I mean, I'm faster than you, so this is not even a problem. Toga kiss. Just gonna bop the hell out of you. But oh uh, yeah, today was um, today was a cool day, especially as I woke up and I see all the uh, the release of Mega Salamit. <coughs> the release for uh. Mega Salamence or Jaffa, Jaffa Mints. Um and all the other cool Pokemon like Mega Alteria, Mega Low Punny. That was kind of that was definitely a, a a surprise. And then obviously you get given a shiny Beldum now in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, which is cool. Now me and Nappy earlier and Shady actually were discussing like what if like we don't know whether or not. Oh, good morning, son. 
whether or not the Beldum is going to be given to you by Stephen Stone, like after you beat the Elite Four, I think, or if they give it to you as a um, Wonder Card item, a Wonder Trade item, not Wonder Trade, a mystery, sorry, a mystery gift thing. Um, I thought it was a, I th honestly, I thought it was going to be a mystery, a mystery gift item that you got, like, so they distributed uh, Torchics and stuff through the mystery gift thing when X and Y first came out. So I, th I thought it was going to be like that, but then Nappy brought up the good point of that. Why would they give you, like, Beldum with a Mega Stone on it at the start of the game, which is Steven's ace? So you would already be on par with Steven because you would have a Mega Metagross too, which makes sense. So I do, I do kind of sway to the side that you'll probably end up getting it at the end of the game after you beat Steven. But who knows? Who knows? We'll never know until the game is finally is actually released. So we're going to use Charge Beam and miss. You're going to go, you're moody. Your attack rose sharply and the special attack fell. Okay. I'm going to go for Charge Beam. The reason I'm going for Charge Beam because if I can take down this Pokemon first, get the Charge Beam boost like that, and now I can just sweep. Now that's what I want to do really at the start of this gym. If it's a weak Pokemon I feel like I can knock out in one hit, I will just literally just come in with... Charge Beam, bop, and Shockwave the rest, because Shockwave doesn't miss either. So if I can hit another Charge Beam right now, and I get the boost off of it, because getting the actual boost of a Charge Beam is, um, it's like, I think it's like a 50% chance or something like that. I actually don't know. So I didn't get it that chat that time. So now he's going to go into a Sigilyph. Now I do, I would go for a Charge Beam here, but Sigilyph's kind of scary, so I'm going to go for Shockwave. Plus one Shockwave. <laughs> I should take down a uh, Sigilyph. Rotom's actually quite powerful. Get that plus one up with a charge beam, and it's actually really good. I keep saying actually. And <laughs> I'm too British. I'm too British. Actually, I know a better way of recording. Alright, we'll go ahead and use Shockwave. Get rid of this Deli Bird. I, mean, I, th I do think Substitute would be a great a great investment. What do I have? On yeah. Get rid of Willowis, Substitute, Sub, and then just Wreck House. <laughs> and Pheasant. I bet. So this gym's actually lower level than I thought it was going to be. Honestly, I wasn't going to take any chances. I sit here and say I'm over leveled, but I'll end up struggling with the gym anyway. And what I just thought about is this might be a double. This might be a double battle. This might be a double battle. That might cause me some problems. Who would I bring out? I don't want to bring out Shady. Shady is way frail. So they're both really frail. I'm going to lose someone. Because, purely because this is a double battle. I wasn't meant to go on that, was I? You got me. <laughs> you got me good. I sent me around in a circle. So, I'm gonna battle these Pokemon again. I mean, I'm gonna be such a... I guess the higher level I am, the better then. If anything, because I need to, like, literally... <sighs> I'm saying literally a lot as well. I kind of just want to be safe. I want to lose any more team members, otherwise I'm not gonna get through this game. I'm not going to get through this game with only four team members. I'm just putting that out there. Drifblim. Drifblim's fairly bulky. So I'm just going to go ahead and use Shockwave on this thing. I mean, I know I know it looks like I'm sweeping these things. But just wait until something happens in this gym battle. Honestly, I don't care if I'm that too high leveled. This game is difficult as fuck. If you came in here with the same level Pokemon, they're going to kick your ass because they play this competitively. Uh, and you don't. Like, you're not set up with a competitive team. You're using a, an in technically you're using in-game teams against Wi-Fi built teams. So like you kind of need a bit of an advantage, even if you are say 14, 15 levels higher than it. That's kind of scary. What what physical move can you hit me with? I'm not. It's like you're just chilling on the ground there, I'll tell you. I'm gonna go for another one. Should be still faster. All right, cool. You just got a Mega Evolution, bro. The only problem with it Mega Evolving, it actually gets more weaknesses, I think, because it's now weak to. Fairy, still weak to fairy, because fairy against fairy is... Ooh, Discharge. Pa chance of Paralysis. I will take that. There's 10 more damage. I will take that. I swear to God, if I see a double-teaming Pokemon now, I'll be so upset, because I just got rid of the one move that can deal with double-teaming Pokemon. But yeah, um, with... Yeah, because uh, Altaria is now dragging fairy when it gets the Mega Evolution. Fairy against fairy is neutral, so fairy against dragon will be super effective. That's going to hurt. No, it's not. I'm going to reduce my speed. My accuracy. Oh, wow. This misses now. All right. 
So poison is super effective against it, steel is super effective against it, and ice obviously is super effective against dragon. So there's four weaknesses on Altaria. And what did it have before? Dragon flying, a dragon, ice, rock, fairy. So they're the same. They stay the same, they just change. Dragon, rock, ice, fairy. Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. I don't think so. So the actual... The weaknesses stay the same. The amount do anyway. The actual weaknesses themselves change, so... Alright, what could Brady... Man, my level 64. Level 64. This is worse than Pat's Versus. I mean, way over levels. Alright, let's slide down here. Obviously, I think I was meant to go in this one instead. Wait, no, you're gonna send me back. I don't like this gym. I don't like it. I lost my bearings, so now I have to jump jump in this one. Come down, jump in it again, it's gonna launch me further. Run this way. Hop inside. We've just beat you. What the hell? Where do we go? That sends me back. Alright, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna heal up, and then we're gonna come back in this gym, because honestly, that lost me. You just, you just, you just like, lost me. And I haven't... Get in the door, dude! I hate when you speed up and you're trying to, like, walk through a door. And it's just like, No, no, you, you go left, and then you go right, and then you go left, and then you go right, and then you go left, and go... Come on, yeah. Alright, let's try again. Which way are we meant to go, game? Which way? Definitely go this way. Alright, let's, ev let's evaluate this. Okay. Can't go anywhere from here. Unless we go down here, which we still can't go anywhere from. So we have to jump in this, which is then going to fire us over this way. Can't go that way. Definitely have to go this way. Nowhere else to go from this point. Jump in here. Can I just like face it or anything? Nope, it definitely fires us over here. Right? Right? Can't walk anywhere else. Oh wait. I see. I see, I see, I see. Okay. Okay. Alright, we're good. I'm gonna fire over that guy. And then we need to go back inside it, so I'm gonna have to battle this geezer. Yo, geezer! Target lock acquired. Target acquired! Fire at will! Alright. Five Pokemon. Pilot a chase. You have a jump love. I do not like jump love because they are stalling little shits. We're doing sleep powder leech seed. Bobbity boop. I'm gonna go into my bro Shady because quad effective right here. You can get this work. Shady's power. Shady is power. This is this deli is power. Cotton spore. That reduced my evasiveness. Speed. Okay, makes no difference. I was gonna go for eye shot anyway, so. You're a prankster? Did they give Jump Love pranks though? Did it already have pranks though? I actually don't remember. I think it's got. I think it's normally got like chlorophyll, so they actually. I keep saying actually, I need I need to stop. I need to stop saying that. So they gave it, um. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that they gave it, um. Prankster. That's kind of cool actually. Let's go for Ice Punch. Uh. Silver Wind. Oh yeah, I really forgot my speed's been completely, absolutely destroyed. I should probably switch out. Just to make sure. <laughs> Dead Ledium. I'm still ill, you know? I've been ill for the longest time. I've been ill for like three weeks. We just made these LPs feel like really bad because all I've done is spent like the entirety of this, 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 this playing these two, like playing Heart Gold and Volt White. Just really, really slow and groggy. Been to the dots like three times and they tell me I'm okay, I'm, I'm getting better, but I feel like I'm getting worse. And if I go back, they're gonna be like, no, you got I've already been here. I already told you you're getting better. Why are you coming back telling me? I'm like, no, I don't feel well, dude. Pelipper! Pelipper! Pelagon! Guys, just knock off! Dude, don't hit me with knock off, that'll hurt. I mean Pelipper's not gonna have a chance anyway, because no special defense, this power gem's about to rip through your body. I'm sorry, I don't mean it. Sorry. Alright, knock towel. Actually, probably I said it again. I should have probably switched out here, because knock towel actually. <laughs> Oh god, this is so bad. Noctowl. Noctowl has a decent special defense, but it doesn't seem to didn't take it very well. I keep saying, actually, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Okay. 
Gotta face you. More freaking trainers. My plans are perfectly honed. I cannot lose. Oh, oh, oh. Sassy bitch. Right. Swallow! Swallow's power. This thing's fast. So if it hits me with a Brave Bird. Oh, wait, I can take the Brave Bird. I can take a Brave Bird with Rotom. Rotom can take a Brave Bird all day long. But faster than it, though, that's probably because I'm like 15 levels. 12 levels higher than this thing. So I'm going to use Charge Beam. Get the ex experience. Get the special attack boost. Level 65. We're too good. We're literally too powerful right now. Aerodactyl. Literally, literally and actually are like my favorite words this episode. I swear to God. All right. Discharge. It's a dead Aerodactyl. This is going to be pretty easy. After the amount of like mopping the floor with these guys, I feel like this gym, uh, this gym leader is going to be easy. But then again, I don't want to like say, oh, yeah, this is going to be easy and then just get absolutely ripped to shreds. That would not be fun. I want you to know that would not be fun. I think what I'm going to try to start doing is I usually record at least two videos a day or something uh, to try and keep ahead of myself. But I think I'm going to have to um, tone it down a little bit. And maybe record once a day just to make just to ensure I get better because it's not I'm, I don't think I'm doing myself any favors. I should be resting or going out and getting some fresh air or something. Because, because. And Rotom is just eating up this experience. I didn't. I thought I'd have to grind. I completely forget about the gym trainers in here, and the fact that they give me pretty good experience as well. I, Rotom is just tearing through these Pokemon. I'm about to get to level 66 right here. I have no experience codes on. God damn. God damn. Okay, so let's hop in here. It's gonna find me south of the gym. Through the freaking, that was some trick shots right there. Show me through the ring, through another ring. Bing, bing, bing. Two rings, bonus points. And I think this is the final one actually. Oh, there's one more left. That's why I call having safety. That would have killed a normal person. Through the ring and we now have to face Skylar. All right, so just, 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 just to ensure, I think we're good. Do I, have an, do I have an X accuracy? Do we have any battle items? Uh, do we have any battle items? Let me just click the sort button. We have X defend, X speed, that's not that useful. And do we have an ether can use? We do, but I don't think I'm gonna need it. Okay, I'll just, just to know it's there is, is good, so. All right, let's do this. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Did you, did you enjoy flying with it? No, I did not, I hit, I smashed into the wall. Now my pride and joy. This time, this time, let's try something else. All right, all right, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Thirsty for Skylar. Okay, so she's gonna. Li oh. Oh shit. Oh god, that is not funny. I need to protect Nifty at all costs. You're gonna sit here and you're gonna drag and dance your socks off. You can catch his charge beam, Skamori. It's a dead Skamori, get out of it. Actually, he's got sturdy, hasn't he? He's got sturdy, give me the special attack increase. Yes, all right, that's cool, that's all I need. As long as, wait, doesn't discharge like hit every single Pokemon? Mandibuzz is gonna eat that up. <laughs> Nifty's just like, ah, 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 dancing. All right, okay, so you're gonna, br Tailwind, that's not even funny. You need to stop now. He can hit a crawl with the fuck? How can you hit a cross like that? How, 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 how? How? Tell me, explain to me how you can do that. Like, he hit across the screen. I didn't think you could do that. Like, I can't do that. If I go ahead and try and hit a. Po I can't hit him with that. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Okay, so she's gonna use a high potion on the Mandibuzz. I did just Dragon Dance. I'm gonna use my own high potion on Nifty. So I'm gonna hit Nifty up with that. He's gonna be pretty quick now. The Brave Bird's gonna come through again. Don't get a crit.
I'm scared because if that mandibus hits me, if that mandibus hits me now, I mean, I've killed the Skarmory. I paralyzed my own Pokemon. Are you gonna, is that, that going to synchronize on me? Oh my god! That's not what I need. That's not what I need right now. 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 I just paralyzed my own Pokemon. Oh, I killed the- uh, please kill the Mandibuzz. Please kill the Mandibuzz. Please kill- that's not gonna kill the Mandibuzz. Mandibuzz is bulky as fuck. What am I talking about? Gliscor. Swanna. Okay. Oh my god. Shit. Um. Alright, I'm gonna hit Gliscor with this- oh, uh, wait. Ah, oh, I need to kill Gliscor. Gliscor's a threat. Um, I need to Hyper Potion up. No, wait, I need to, I need to, I need to Hyper Potion up Mo. Wait, no, I can't. I need to full heal. I need to full heal. I need to full heal Rotom. And then I need to switch Scrafty out for Delibird because Delibird could actually do damage. So we're going to switch out because Nifty being out there was risky as hell. I'm going to use the full heal. And then, he's gonna use Brine. Okay, so he's gonna use Brine on Delibird. I don't know if you can take that, but oh my god, that does too much. How can you attack diagonally like that? And I can. I don't get it. How can you hit me across that? I don't get it, because I can't attack. I'm so confused. I don't understand how he can or she can attack. Across to get poison. Wait, what the hell? She's got toxic orb on that thing. You need to calm down. I don't get how you can attack diagonally across the screen when I can't. I don't get it. I literally do not understand. Oh my god, I forgot she had spikes out. That was close. I don't understand it. I literally, I, I'm, I'm lost for words because I don't understand how you can do that and I can't. And they're, just, they're all ganging up on Scrafty because Scrafty is, um... Oh my god, I literally rolled- if this was a single but I would have kicked your ass, I just want you to know. She's gonna brine a Scrafty, Scrafty's gonna eat it up. Om nom nom nom. Gliscor's gonna Earthquake. Okay, that's fine. Brave Bird, that's gonna- that's gonna- that's gonna- that's gonna- that's gonna- that's gonna hurt, that's gonna hurt, that's gonna hurt. I'm gonna get rid of this freaking ass Gliscor, you need to get out of here. Okay, 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 okay. So we lost Shady. Tailwind to Peter out. That's what I. Th mm -hmm. Alright. Okay, I can take down two Pokemon right here. Because if I go for Discharge, uh, I'm going to use a Hive Potion on each turn again. Like that. Like this. Okay, I'm going to heal up Mo. Heal up Nifty. So we got both those guys healed up. And I'm gonna go for Discharge, which should kill both of those Pokemon with the plus one special attack. That should kill them. Or kill at least. Oh god, yes. Alright, so I used. According to. I think you've got like one Pokemon left. Use Brave Bird on Scrafty, of course. Scrafty's gonna eat that up. You're gonna kill yourself with the recoil. Wait, is that your last Pokemon? Oh, we're safe. Wait. You can't attack anybody. Uh, we're gonna Power Gem Mandibuzz, and then we're gonna Ice Punch Mandibuzz. I don't know why I didn't Ice Punch it earlier, actually. Alright, we lost Shady. I could have probably prevented myself from losing Shady. Because I could have hyper potioned N Nifty like I did there. But I was kind of scared and I didn't know what to do. So we did lose Shady. And the crew goes down to three. We have me, Callum, and Mo, which is like the dream team. It's just amazing. Just us three left. The last three standing trainers are me, Callum, and Mo. Now the three people I think I speak most to. So. 
That's kind of insane. Not even gonna lie. Not even gonna lie. That's kind of crazy. And we're down to three. I say, yeah, and then there were three. That's that's what I was trying to reference. There we go. Oh, okay. I actually am upset that Deadly Bird's gone. The only problem is Deadly Bird is fast and he hits hard, but in this game anyway. But he's weak. Wait, what? So that could, that's the only reason he fell. So now we have two gym badges left and three, uh, and then the Elite Four and Champion. So now I definitely no N. Leave me alone. No, 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 no. Please, please, no N. They may say it was for understanding one another better, but what trainers really use for, for uh, you know, like use battles for is to compete, and they hurt each other's Pokemon. Am I the only one that finds this terribly painful? Whatever, I'm going to talk to your Pokemon. I've been living with Pokemon since I was born, so it's easier for me to talk to them with them people because Pokemon never tell lies. Uh, he's talking to my Game Boy. Hey, Roll Tom, would you tell me uh, would you tell me what kind of trainer Luke is? Okay, okay, got it. So Luke was born in November Town, lives with mom, <laughs> lives with mom. Oh my god. I was given the Pokedex to start off a journey to see the world. Still, this road don't trust you for some reason. That's good. If every po person in Pokemon cared about one, one, uh, one another like you two do, I could watch over the future of people and Pokemon without having to liberate Pokemon from people who just want to just use them. Guess this is using Team Plasma to search for special stones. The Light Stone and the Dark Stone. These stones hold the essence of two legendary Pokemon. It is said that when they, are lost, when they lost their physical form, they fell into a slumber and were transformed. Now they wait for the hero's arrival. I shall resurrect a legendary dragon type Pokemon from one of these stones and become its friend. That, that, that will show the world that I am the new hero. Everyone will follow what I say. My vision is to change the world without using force. Trying to change the world by force will just make others resist. If people resist, the ones that will hurt are the innocent Pokemon used by foolish trainers. You understand? Po Pokemon are not just tools for people to use. As a result, Pokemon and trainers who care about one another, like you and your Pokemon, will be separated, and that does break my heart a little. <sighs> I thought I was gonna have to battle him. And I did not want to battle him. Let's just put that up there, just do not want to battle that guy right now. Mo, Callum, and Luke. And then there were three. Damn. Look at all the team members in the box, man. This is, this is, this is crazy. This, this is crazy. I don't know if we can do this, man. I don't even know what the next gym leader is, man. We lost our one Pokemon we needed to take down the, the, the dragon one. Actually, the Scrafty will come through. Scrafty will come through like he always does. Alright, well, if you have enjoyed this episode, guys, please do leave a rating and a comment. That was an intense episode. I can't wait to see what happens in the next one. So I'll see you guys then.